Dedham, Massachusetts is a suburb located in Norfolk County, bordering the city of Boston. It is made up of six small neighborhoods, Oakdale, Riverdale, Green Lodge, The Manor, East Dedham, and Precinct 1, or P1. Dedham has some economic boundaries. You will find most of the lower class households in East Dedham. The middle class households can be found in Oakdale, Green Lodge, The Manor, and Riverdale. P1 is where you find a lot of the upper class households. These are very large houses and a lot of them are older. There are many playgrounds, soccer fields, baseball fields, a football field, a track, a pool, and other common areas that people like to hang out. The three main shopping areas are Legacy Place, the Dedham Mall, and the Dedham Plaza. They all contain grocery stores, restaurants, shops. Most people travel by personal vehicle in Dedham. This is easy because a lot of the main roads, like Route 1, are in good condition. Some of the side roads are in poor condition. The MBTA bus runs right through the center of town, and the commuter rail has two stops in Dedham. The most dominant ethnic group is Caucasian, with 80% of people. Following that is African Americans, with 7.5. 7% is Hispanic, 2.8% is Asian, and the rest, 2.5%, is other ethnic groups. Many service centers can be found throughout Dedham, including auto body shops, gas stations, dentist office, and a lot of medical. Dedham Medical is the doctor's office. Newbridge on the Charles, Golding Living are both assisted living facilities. You can also find minute clinics throughout the town. ECEC is the public preschool and kindergarten. Oakdale, Riverdale, Green Lodge, and Avery School are all public elementary schools throughout the town. There is then Dedham Middle School and Dedham High School. Then there is also three private schools, Ursuline Academy, Dedham Country Day, and Noble and Greeno School. Two priority problems that affect both the state of Massachusetts and the United States as a whole is obesity and the opioid epidemic. Between 2016 and 2017, there was a significant increase of obesity rates in Massachusetts and many other states. With more education on nutrition, physical activities, and other prevention strategies, hopefully this number will start to decrease. Another priority problem is the opioid crisis. Massachusetts opioid-related deaths are two times the U.S. average. In 2016, over 42,000 people died in the U.S. related to opioid. Reduction of this issue is a priority. In order to decrease these rates in Massachusetts, something needs to change. So I did some research on how other states have dealt with this issue. The Governor's Caveat Action Team was created in 2011. This strategy was to promote the responsible use of opioids, reduce the supply of them, and to support overdose prevention and expand access to naloxone. Since the development of the GCOAT, the number of opioid doses dispensed has reduced from 782 million to 701 million. 61 doctors and 15 pharmacists licenses were revoked between 2011 and 2014 for unsafely prescribing opioids. Unintentional drug overdose deaths decreased from 45% to 